Beta Series, media partner of the Berlin TV Series Festival 2020. So here we are with uh, Johannes Betz, uh, creator and writer of uh, Das Boot, second season here in France on Star Play uh, since a few weeks. Um, and you're selected at this festival that we do love at Beta Series called Berlin TV Series Festival. We did a program with Stefan Konarske, uh, one of the actors of, uh, from Das Boot, about the acting in a TV series. And at Beta Series and our audience loved that program and wanted more about Das Boot. That's why we're so happy to have you here on the program. So first of all, before going into uh, the writing aspect and the references of the TV series, maybe uh, just for the people who know Das Boat for maybe a few weeks uh, in France on Stars Play once again, um, how did you have the idea of the TV series? How, how was it born, uh, the concept? And were you, did, did someone come to you for that? Or was it an idea of yours? How did it all happen for before the first season? Yeah, it, <clears throat> it was exactly that. Uh, uh, the Bavaria, the production company, called me and asked me if I if I want to write that series. As, uh, of course, it's uh, it was it was uh, some kind of producer-born idea. You see, it's a it's a big brand because it's a uh, uh, it's a very famous film. It's a, it's a kind of classic, one of the a few German classics. Uh, which exists and uh, it's a great movie of course and uh, they have the rights so uh, they decided to make a series out of it so why not so to say and uh, as far as I know it was uh, it was fully financed from the very beginning even before they called me if I want to write it. It was, it was just the brand, you know, and there was no problem to gain money from Sky and from, from uh, Sonar. Yeah. And they had the, the whole budget together, even before they called me if I want to write it. So this is quite a convenient situation for a writer, you see. And um, uh, of course I said, yes, yes, of course. Uh, uh, it's a great honor. And uh, then I was... Uh, uh, put together with uh, Tony Saint, who is British, uh, which was quite an experience for me because I, I never, I never worked uh, seriously in English before, and uh, this was the first time. But it, uh, it uh, worked out very well with the two of us, and uh, and we uh, we uh, we um, um, made a kind of two-person writers' room first. You see. Uh, for the first uh, first uh, three months, uh, four months, and uh, and uh, and put this thing together, completely different from the movie, of course. Yeah, definitely. And how far, how close, sorry, were you with the movie? Did you know the movie before writing the TV series? Uh, did you go back to the movie yeah, when? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I've seen it several times. I've seen it when uh, um, when when it was released. It was a uh, uh, beginning of the eighties, yeah, I think. Yeah, nineteen eighty one. Nineteen eighty one. Yeah. And it was, it was in cinema. Uh, I watched it at the, at, the, at the movies, and I was completely stunned. This was so unusual for a German movie. I think uh, I was uh, I was just a kid, and I, I thought, well, this is uh, the beginning of something new in Germany. Well, we can discuss that, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's, it's still a very stunning movie and it's a classic. So uh, of course we we uh, we didn't want to do the same thing again. This was very important. Yeah, we, we can see some references and some maybe homage or tribute to, to the movie, but it's inspired of the movie, but actually it's very different as well. You're right to, to say that because yeah. French people are discovering it because lots of people are watching Das Bot. It's been broadcasted on French TV RT a few weeks ago. That's why I talk, I talk about uh, this particular movie. Um, you just said that uh, this TV series was produced uh, when you get the call to write it. Uh, it never happens. Usually on TV series, production is a yeah. long process. Process. So, are you more confident to write a TV series with that much production ahead and advanced? Um, are you more confident as a writer? Uh, is it easier uh, when it's all financed before and there's no production problem? Of course, it's easier because uh, certain a certain kind of, of of talking, a certain kind uh, of discussion uh, doesn't happen. You see, you don't have to to convince people to do it. And this is uh, 
This is uh, quite a convenient thing uh, for a writer. It's uh, no, nobody nobody discusses if it's nobody nobody doubts about if this uh, series is made or not. So we can just uh, focus on on content. You and, see, and the From content. Budget. Yeah, we know we had enough money. There was no problem with that, with that and uh, that was that, that was quite convenient. Yeah, yeah, uh, no doubt about that. And about the content, which is kind of amazing because there's a storyline, uh, just like usual fictions, but uh, it's during the World War Two uh, in different places, different countries. So there's a lot of references to historical facts. So how do yeah. you write a storyline um, based on a true a true story or true events and particular cities? I'm thinking about. Of of course, uh, our country, some cities in France where the TV series was shut. So how do you write? you write the storyline and then you add some references and stuff? Or do you do, you do everything uh, at the same time? And what were your researches uh, in order to write the season one of Dashboard? We're going to talk about season two in a few minutes. Uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we read a lot of books, of course. A lot of books, uh, uh, not only about, uh, about uh, uh, U-boats, there's a lot of uh, literature about that, uh, especially in Britain, not so much in Germany. Uh, uh, in spite of the, the you know, the, the, the uh, U-boats are a very special German thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. But uh, the British are the ones who are obsessed with, 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 uh, with uh, German U-boats, and you find all the material in, in Great Britain. And not not in Germany. This is quite quite peculiar. And uh, besides that, we uh, we read a lot of uh, books about the situation in France mm -hmm. um, uh, during World War Two. Um, the well, the tension between collaboration and resistance. And uh, because we decided quite early to set half of the story in La Rochelle, which was the U-boat base, mm -hmm. uh, we have we had to fill it with some kind of historical truth. And uh, we made a lot of research about that, how the situation was. And uh, this was, of course, quite helpful to to uh, create the characters, which are uh, a little bit based on which, um, uh, what uh, um, um, Lothar Günther Buchheim, who wrote the original uh, novel, um, delivered to us. And uh, and we uh, took these characters, for example, uh, um, um, the sister um, Simone. Uh, which is a kind of kind of leading character in the whole series, and uh, built a story around her, um, a story uh, concerning being French or being German, and that uh, seemed to be the right thing for us. Yeah, and, and just like you say, the, the you, we can see uh, while watching the TV series, the research is because it's uh, there's a precision, uh, particularly of course because that's what I know better about the scenes in France, uh, the difference between the occupied zone and the free zone uh, between uh, during the World War Two. And I'd like to know if you had some pictures, if you uh, went to La Rochelle or to other little small towns where uh, Das Boot was shot in France. Uh, did you go there to to feel it, or did you have pictures uh, because there's a precision about a lot. Of, I've watched tomorrow a news, uh, today, sorry, a news special about the shooting of Das Boot in France and people from that time said that they have the, the feeling to go back in time. There's so much precision in the accessories. In the, so how did you write that? Did you have pictures about these places? No, I, I visited it uh, several times. Oh, okay. uh, I've, uh, accidentally, I've been there about two years before production started, just just uh, because I like to see it, La Rochelle. And uh, of course, uh, we did research uh, uh, at La Rochelle and and uh, the um, um, environment and uh, to 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 get. Uh, to, to become some 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 hints and and to be uh, inspired by by uh, uh, by the place and uh, what we saw we used so it's a it's a very uh, um, uh, special place uh, with that uh, tiny houses around the harbor and the in the midst and and the big wall and uh, this. Uh, <coughs> 
this uh, huge, vast U-boat base outside. So uh, we learned, oh, you have to you have to to go by bus. It's it's not possible. Uh, it's it's not really connected. It's somewhere else. So so uh, these are the things we. Uh, we used for our story uh, to to have a separation between the U-boat base and the town of La Rochelle. But of course, uh, all that uh, German uh, uh, sailors uh, went to La Rochelle to have fun, of course, and uh, they uh, had a big influence on the uh, everyday life in the city, and uh, and and we used that. Yeah, there's a great video about uh, the boat coming to La Rochelle for the shooting on YouTube, and we don't. We, people need to know how how big this production is because it's so fluid, as we say in French, that when we watch a TV series, we don't get the feeling that it's that huge. But when you see the backstage and making of videos, it's kind of amazing. All of these machines uh, just to get the boat to La Rochelle, for example. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they they uh, they touted it by by uh, it, you know it's it's a it's a it's a kind of a one to one model. It's uh, it's the size of a real U boat, but it's a model. It has no motor. It it can't move by itself. So they had to, to tow it by by another ship yeah. into the harbor of La Rochelle. And uh, this is uh, only half the truth because uh, uh, the, all the interior of the U boat was shot in in Prague at the okay. studio. Okay. And they uh, rebuilt the whole the whole U boat in in Prague in the studio. So uh, one one side could be uh, what was open, uh, so that the camera can move around uh, in a in a free way. It was uh, quite different from that uh, from that U boat in the original movie. It still exists in uh, in Munich. Okay. The real U boat where where they uh, shot the movie uh, um, in in 1979, and it's very very narrow. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it, it, when you stand in in that uh, in that original uh, uh, movie U boat, you you just wonder how they managed to f make a film in this uh, very narrow uh, setting. And uh, the, um, um, David Luther, the uh, uh, DOP, he wanted something else. He wanted be more free in choosing and uh, and uh, in in. Um, Interaction. He, uh, he, wa he wanted to feel more free to do something with the actors, and uh, and so they built the, the U-boat completely new, a, a new one in Prague. Very interesting to say that yeah. because <laughs> it, it, indeed in the, in the original movie they had to play with lights to make it bigger and to to make it huge for the spectator and indeed it's far bigger uh, here on on the TV series and the spectator feels it as well. It's bigger. It, it's a word that we usually use to 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 make a difference between the movie and the TV series. You said earlier that it was the first time that you write a script uh, in full English. Uh, was it a great challenge? Was it difficult or did you did you have more challenge a lot uh, more difficult to deal with than just writing English for a desbot? Well, this, this writing in English this was no problem. I uh, uh, um, well that that worked very fine. So uh, we uh, well I had I, I had some some English men to watch over my writing, and <laughs> on the other hand, I had to to uh, to retranslate all his English writing. The whole dialogues of of the uh, of the uh, boat crew was uh, re-translated into German. You see, and so it was always a kind of mixture between German and English, and then there came uh, the French dialogues. Uh, additionally. Uh, and uh, we had a we, we had some some uh, special uh, a French editor to uh, control all the French dialogue. Because so this was quite yeah. interesting. It was a three three language uh, uh, screenplays. Okay, and and did you um, did you go to the shoot to, to the places, the location in France, in Germany, or did you write and then you did not get involved in the production, or were you here while they were shooting some scenes that you wrote? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm not very interested to visit uh, the shooting of a film. I, I, I'm not very interested in that. I'm, I'm, I'm very fine in, in uh, writing and uh, having any question answered before, uh, before uh, shooting starts. So, of course, I visited uh, the locations. I have been in Prague and we worked there, uh, uh, and uh, we, uh, we made some, some. Um, um, 
some corrections to our writing when we saw uh, uh, the setting and everything. But when they started shooting, I said goodbye. Do you think I'm 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 I'm, I'm fine with that? That's. Uh, My work is done. <laughs> That's in, in, very interesting because some writers are very different, so it's great to see on the program how, how different you all work. And uh, the, this TV series is both internationally, France, uh, UK, uh, USA. So is it different to write a TV series that, that is both in so many countries? Uh, do, you, do, you have a, do, do you tell yourself when you write, okay, I have to be more universal because it's going to be seen everywhere? Or do you write this TV series just like it's going to be just national? I don't make a difference. Mm. It must it must be a good story, uh, well told, uh, uh, well on, on the on the top of my of my of my craft. You see, and I want to see it. Uh, I think the main difference is uh, is production wise. Yeah, uh, because uh, budget-wise, because uh, of course internationally you got a bigger budget than just just uh, for for a product which is which is just meant for German market, of course. But uh, I think uh, uh, for for me the the the, um, the uh, storytelling, the way I want to tell my story is it, it's no difference. My, my I, I want my stories to be understood all over the world, not only in Germany. And in the case of the boat, that that uh, worked out quite well. Yeah. Yes, it the does. I had does. Some, some other bigger, bigger uh, productions. Um, uh, the Hindenburg, for example, which was a worldwide release, and that worked quite fine. And how did you work between the season one and the season two? Because as a spectator, we got the impression that it's all bigger uh, visually, but also in the storylines. I don't know if it's just a feeling again, but do, do you, and Stefan Konarska, the actor of uh, the season two of Das Boot, said that for him as well, he got the impression that it was all bigger between the two seasons. Uh, do you have this feeling as well, or is, is it just something that we do see as a spectator watching the TV series? We got the impression that it's far bigger between the two seasons. Well, uh, uh, in the second season, uh, uh, the range is wider. Mm. You see, uh, there are more, more, uh, more um, places featured. There are more, more uh, stories uh, uh, um, uh, simultaneously told, and uh, may maybe that makes it bigger. And of course, Stefan Konas's uh, 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 part was quite bigger than in the first season. Yes, yeah, so. I think. CQFD. <laughs> This explains that. Um, you, you said earlier that you, you had researches, that you, you read a lot of books uh, yep. for the storylines, but uh, did you go back to maybe some movies or some TV series about that particular period, or maybe just not that particular period, maybe a storyline that you wanted to see again in a particular fiction, or did you just read books as your research for Das Boot? No, of course, of course, we see movies. We ah. watch all the movies uh, from the 30s and uh, and uh, from the 50s. Uh, there are so many U-boat movies in the 50s, and uh, even in the 30s, there's a quite quite a uh, 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 quite good German one. And uh, and of course, we watched all that, and uh, even what they did in Hollywood with uh, with that uh, 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 Red October stuff, uh, which is a completely different kind of U-boat. Of course, it's mm. a it's It's a, a, a big scale, uh, modern uh, atom atomic U-boat. It's a atomic submarine. It's it's so different uh, uh, from from the German uh, U-boats in the Second World War. But we watched all of this, of course. Yeah, Red, of course. Red October with Sean Connery. There was also an American movie called K-19 with Harrison Ford in the early year 20s yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, that one too. Yeah, of course. Maybe could we have some some thoughts about uh, what's going to happen for this boat? Are you writing uh, the sequel? Are you writing another season? Or if you're not writing another season, what are you writing at the at the time being? That could be appealing for the TV series festival. So, what are you writing at the time? Oh, uh, I, I uh, actually I I quit this boat. Okay. Uh, I don't write any more for that series uh, because uh, uh, I have some some own stuff to uh, to uh, to work on and uh, and uh, this is uh, 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 where I'm, I'm more con kind of more connected with it's okay. uh, uh, and um, these are uh, two two series 
uh, I developed in the last two years, and uh, uh, let let's see what happens. It's um, I'm I'm talking with Sky again. Okay. Um, uh, tomorrow in Munich. <laughs> okay, that's what is. Well, good luck for tomorrow then. What happens there? And um, uh, at the moment, I do uh, some mini series about um, about a cave accident in uh, so somebody about, about a, a, a caver, uh, um, 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 a scientist who uh, who climbed down with his friends in, in some some uh, very very deep cave in the Bavarian mountains, and he he had an accident. And I write a movie about a TV, uh, not a movie. It's a it's a mini series about the rescue, and this is this is quite a great story. It's it's very. Um, uh, yeah, it's a kind of adventure movie. That um, sounds interesting and so different yeah. from Das Boat. Yeah, it's absolutely different, but I, I like that. I like to to, uh, to to change subjects, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, but you're a writer, so I guess I guess you're right, yeah. and you're uh, focused on that. And my last questions, um, maybe uh, my two last questions for uh, the people who do not know Das Boat, um, who did not, not watch the movie or the season one or the season two, and maybe who would want to watch the TV series, uh, watching our conversation. Um, what book? All movie, except the original one, of course. Would you advise them to watch, maybe to get familiar with the TV series, or would you advise them just to watch the TV series without watching anything before? That's a difficult question, you know. Well, I'm I'm, I'm not that kind of kind of reader of uh, of of uh, uh, of uh, books like uh, how, how how to write a TV series. I think uh, the most important thing is. Uh, is uh, if you want to write a TV series, never forget what do you want to see? What do you want to watch? Don't write anything else but that what you feel for, what you burn for. Uh, I think uh, the rest comes um, comes along. It's uh, it's uh, this is the most important thing. On the other hand, it's very very complicated <laughs> oh yeah uh, yeah and um, a matter of uh, of course of um, a matter of uh, uh, experience and a matter of contact always thank you these are inspiring last words uh, i was very happy and very pleased to have a conversation about writing uh, on our program das boat is available in france uh, for a few for the past few weeks uh, on stars play it's uh, in germany it's in sky it's on hulu in the us thank you so much for being here with us uh, das boat is selected at the berlin tv series festival johannes betz thank you very much have a good day sir Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Greetings to Berlin or wherever you are. <laughs> there is. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Beta Series, media partner of the Berlin TV Series Festival 2020.